Hey guys, what's up? Norkla here and I've been seeing that you guys have been asking me how to improve the volume and the gain of your BM800 microphone. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get it started. Now you guys have been asking me a lot of these questions on the comments and I've heard them guys. So we're going to be doing this video today. I know that some of you are actually using this legendary BM800 microphone plug straight into the PC with or without phantom power and some of you have laptops some of you have devices or use it on phones and you're not really happy with how loud it can go so I'm gonna try to help you guys today and before we get to the actual tips it will be very important for us to understand how this microphone gets my voice or your voice into whatever device you're using so let's get to it now whenever we speak it's actually caused by vibrations, right? So it's analog. It's basically the vibrations of my vocal cords projected out of my mouth. Now, this one, this microphone actually has a diaphragm. If you look into a microphone inside the grill, it actually has this flat circle kind of thing inside and that's called a diaphragm. And what it does is that when you speak into it, it vibrates and turns those vibrations from your voice into an electrical signal. Now, whatever signal that comes out of the BM800 is actually what you call a mic level signal. Now, the mic level signal, typically most devices cannot use that by itself because the mic level signal is generally very weak. What needs to happen is that it needs to go to a preamp which boosts the signal from the mic and convert it into a line level signal which then your computer or recording device can use. Now the thing is, most of you guys actually plug this microphone straight into your PC and even if you do have phantom power and you still plug it there, at the end of the day, if it's plugged directly to your PC, it's producing a mic level signal which is generally very weak. Now you guys are asking me how can the BM800 sound so good in your previous videos and so loud even if you don't have an audio interface and it's plugged straight into your PC. Well, the thing is, I looked around at my motherboard and apparently it has a very interesting feature. It's called the Z270 Tough Motherboard from ASUS. And apparently it has a dedicated chip for inputs and outputs. That's why it's able to boost my microphone. Now, unfortunately, if you're using a laptop or any cheaper motherboard, then you might actually have this problem and the signal that you have may not be boosted by your motherboard because it just doesn't have the capability. And reality is guys, if you don't want to have a headache around your game levels and you know struggling with volume, it's best to actually go for a hardware solution much like this one. This one is an audio interface with some proper preamps, taking the mic signal and turning it into a line level signal that the computer can use. However, I know that a lot of you who watch my videos may not have the budget for something like this or are actually maybe waiting for the right time to purchase it and want a solution now. So I'm going to help you guys actually with real practical tips that you can use to improve your volume situation. Let's get to my desktop view. All right, guys, I'm on my desktop view and right now we have OBS online. Actually, this is the first set I'm going to teach you how to boost your volume from OBS. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna do something very important to our experiment. My voice is gonna be very quiet moving forward so that we can simulate a low volume situation. I'm gonna lower my gain aggressively and reduce my noise gain as you guys can hear. Uh, my voice is actually pretty low and it's actually pretty simple how to increase the volume here in OBS. What you do is go to mic slash auxiliary right click it go to filters and then click this plus button and add this filter called gain now gain will actually boost the volume of your microphone and let me show you how i can get to the previous level through this filter hello hello anybody home hello have you gone to my twitch.tv slash norkla channel where i stream every monday wednesday thursday and saturday hello there you guys go i mean you can hear that my voice has actually improved in terms of volume and as you can see it's already hitting here at the yellow it's actually peaking sometimes when i'm screaming on the top of my lungs but it's actually pretty good oh side note 
make sure that you're targeting this one, this area here, just right above the green section and try to avoid the red section. But for now, I think it's all right because I am actually speaking normally and it's not hitting the red unless I shout. Now, the problem with this solution is that the volume doesn't increase across all your software. So for example, if you're using Discord, Zoom, Google Hangouts, etc., it's not gonna increase the volume because the volume increase is limited to OBS only. So you're only gonna get the benefit if you're streaming or recording from OBS. Now, I think your next question would be, well, what if I wanna raise the volume across all my devices or at least all of the software that I use? Well, I do have another solution for that. All right, so the next tip that I can show you is about using voice meter. Now, if you're using voice meter uh, in terms of my guides, uh, you can actually route the audio here and increase the volume. And if you're using voice meter to connect to your Discord, your Zoom, your Google Hangouts, you can actually use this to increase the volume across all of your software. By the way, if you don't know how to configure voice meter, I made a video of it very recently. The link will be down below. All right, guys, so let's look here at the voice meter interface. There are actually fader gains, faders that you can use to increase your volume. And the fader that I would like to use is actually here. So that it will help us, what we'll do is we'll keep OBS there, we'll monitor the levels here, and let's start increasing. Hello, hello, hello. What we want is to reach this like the last time, and if this is not enough, you can also increase it by this one. Hello, 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 hello. All right, so 4.4, and then let's also increase this by 4.4. All right, virtual out, just, just so that we're consistent in terms of outputting, regardless of what output that you use into the different types of software. I'm still speaking normally, and it's still a bit here, so let's increase it again to 5.6. Hello, hello, mic test, one, two, three. Hello, 6.3, I think that's a, a tad too much. All right, so 5.9. So let's use it, 5.9. We got to enter that and there you go guys. The volume is now pretty much uniform. You can now connect your voice meter to your Zoom, Discord, you know, Valorant voice chat, whatever software that you use, your microphone and your volume will have been boosted. There you go guys. I hope I was able to help you out with my two tips for increasing your volume for free. Obviously OBS is open source and it's free. Voice meter is also free. And now you can increase volume through settings like those either in OBS or in any other software that uses voice meter as an input. By the way guys, I'm curious as to what types of videos you'd want me to create in the future. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like this video if it was useful for you. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you can get notified for my upcoming videos. I'm gonna have a couple of reviews, additional tutorials for people on a budget or beginners. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, don't forget that I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Norkla if you wanna hang out and just kind of talk about gear, tech, streaming. I'm there and we can have a fun time there. By the way, guys, this is Norkla. Latayangat, all will rise.